Hi guys, we are in Engelberg for the ski store ski test. Um, here with uh, Deadgen GP Care and uh, from Armada. And uh, we have great powder conditions. We had one run this morning. Now we're waiting for a few more guests to arrive. And here we have the Armada lineup. So sure. we're thinking GP walk us through it. Uh, yeah. Hi, hello. <laughs> I can definitely tell you about the JJ, it's the ski that I've skied the most and that's like definitely an understatement uh, through the years with Armada, it's like the, the ski that I took with me on the road the most uh, forever and um, definitely like my go-to ski for when I'm unsure about condition like if it's like really deep snow or more choppy or more variable or if, that, if it hasn't snowed in a while on resort, that's sort of my go-to ski and has been for a long time. And uh, that sort of shape has been uh, similar for, I think, seven years now? Eight years, maybe, almost. Pretty much nailed it first try eight years ago. <laughs> uh, we kept this one uh, same. We didn't want to touch it because uh, we got, you know, basically, like, uh, nailed it first try and didn't want to change anything that was already working. So instead of changing this key, we decided to expand, expand the line into, like, a different model with, like, a some like uh, elf shoe technology and um, and didn't touch it the, the whole time but this is my go-to ski. I ride the 185s personally. I mounted uh, factory recommended because basically it's Julian and I back in the days we came up with the, the mounting points so I always mounted stock. Uh, to tell you about the TST because it's uh, probably the second one that I take out most. Uh, it's a little bit narrower of a ski and it's got like more tail like you can see. So if I use the JJ for more like free ride, open terrain, you know, Alaska or even like tree skiing in uh, British Columbia, that kind of riding, it's still like more JJ. But if I get more into like mountaineering and ski touring and that kind of thing, then I take the TST out. It's a narrower ski, it's like 103 instead of 116 underfoot. And uh, so it's a little bit better, better edge for like a steeper slope. Uh, I ride the 183, uh, so it's a little bit more nimble, easy to maneuver and like uh, tight shoots and cool bars, and lighter to, to go ski touring as well. And you just have like more effective edge uh, on it, so it's important for skiing steeps and stuff. And it's also quite light construction, so it's a good ski uh, to take for mountaineering and alpinism. It was a long ramble. Alrighty. Uh, so, that for, for this year. Uh, some Alaska creep maybe <laughs> with the Baba. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that one. Looks uh, nice. The Baba. If uh, any of you were fans of the ARGs, or if anyone know about the ARG that we had, like uh, that's kind of our first like early rise ski that basically was the the foundation for all the elf shoe technology that we have at Armada. The, the original ski that we had was called the ARG, and uh, that ski ended up phasing out with all the advancement that, that happened is in the end of the, we ended up not needing that model anymore and the Baba is the one that took it over it's the closest ski to like a, a real you know like early rise and reverse camber reverse side cut kind of ski you, know, you still have like about this much effective edge and a little bit of camber but it's uh, the contact point or the closest in out of all the models we have you know so it's like a true powder ski like uh, if uh, some people could have it as their only ski, but most people get it uh, for the lucky ones that kind of have like a, a quiver, different kind of setups. They'll have like one for more all mountain, and this is like a true pal ski for like deep days or to go heli skiing and cat skiing and stuff. And the operations, they are, that's one of the ones that they, they ask for to have uh, at the operations. But yeah, real pal ski. Oh, thanks. <laughs>